What's up you guys, you guys from another call and I'm back with another video and before I get started, I do want to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my returning subscribers. If you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that way you know every time that I upload. So this video is going to be like a different type of video. It's still a haul video, but this last weekend I was, I was around people. I was around friends and... I really just wanted to be in the moment. Also, I'm really shy to vlog in person or like in, in public. And it was Labor Day weekend. So is it Labor Day? Anyways, it's a holiday weekend. So it's been very much a lot of people, stuff like that. And so I'm just like really, really nervous to be around people and just be out with my gimbal and just, you know, I'm gonna need to like loosen up and get to that. But I did record some things. So um, I don't know how I'm going to put them in, but I did go out with some friends. We went axe throwing. Um, I did buy some candles. So I got some 595 candles. So I'm going to show you the guys that. So I'm probably just going to mix and incorporate the things that I did um, in here. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Maybe a side by side. I don't want you guys to be too distracted, but I want you guys to see what I saw. Like it was just super super nice like i just love getting out and going to do stuff so even though i don't get the chance to do that often i was presented an opportunity to go out and i did and so i just wanted to live in the moment i know i want to be a vlogger i want to vlog i want to record so much um and i just sometimes it's just i just like to live in the moment so um yeah okay let's just let's just get into it so i did participate in the 595 candle sale and this is my bag and look at this bag like they don't even put they didn't put like the little thing on the bottom for the structure so everything is just everywhere i was literally holding my bag like this when i left absolutely did not like it this is what i mean like i don't know if you guys have watched my vlogs when i'm like whenever i go into this certain bath and body works they make me feel like we got beef they make me if you hear like dogs in the background i have puppies and that's why i've been busy they they play so um what was I going to say? But yeah, this particular Bath and Body Works, they just made me feel like, like I don't belong there. You know, like they give me these type of vibes, you know, and I just don't like it. But I still go there and I just act like they not there, you know, like I don't even get a greeting in there. Like, look at my bag. But anyways, I secured the bag. I got what I needed. Um, and they don't necessarily have to greet me. It's whatever. But um, it's just customer service. Like, customer service is not the same. Like, I would always give, like, really, really good customer service. I think I gave great customer service. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys my candles. So, I got these single wick candles. This one is in Tree Farm. And I hope you guys don't mind that it's dark in here. It's bright up here. I like the cozy vibe. Like, I love a cozy vibe. Like, I got the sweatshirt on, my little Colorado sweatshirt. And I'm just sitting here, the AC on, but I still got my sweatshirt on. And I just love it. Like, I absolutely love the vibes. And I hope you feel the vibes. I hope you feel the cozy vibes wherever you're at, you know? But anyways, so I got this Tree Farm single wick candle. And I did use my coupon on this, so my 25% off on these. And then the next one I got was Sweater Weather. These are going to be gifts. But I absolutely love Sweater Weather and Tree Farm. And then I also got Sugared Lemon Zest. This is for hubby. So we like, like I like to burn mine like right here because it's for a small space, but you can smell it like directly here. So I like that. Um, and then this one is another Sugared Lemon Zest and I got that for hubby. And then this one is for me. This one is Sugared Snickerdoodle. Love that. I'm I'm ready. Can you tell I'm ready? I'm festive. I'm definitely like in the season. I'm in the feeling to just, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm in the mood to just be in the season. Like that's just me right now. Like it's just fall makes me happy. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Like, I want to live somewhere where fall is year-round. Like, this is just what it is. The next one that I got is Wicked Vanilla Woods. This smells really, really good. I'm not big on Halloween candles, but Wicked Vanilla Woods does smell really good. I got to look through my sprays and see what I have. 
And let me look at how much I spent. Is this, was this all mine? Okay, so I knew there was one that was missing. And this one is cherry almond shortbread. I wanted to smell this candle. I wanted to try it. So I got my, I knew I got three. I got three. Hubby got two and I'm gifting two. So I don't need a lot, but I do have, I do not need a lot, but I have single wick candle holders and it's nice to have a single wick candle in there. So these are cute. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going to like Walmart to get them. But you know, you need a good Bath and Body Works candle. So there's that. So I haven't really been shopping like the $5.95 body care sale. I do want to go and get Vanilla Romance in the body cream, the body butter, but that's probably about it. And that's because I'm almost done with like my shea butter. So I do have this Dr. Teal's moisturizing bath and body oil. So I might not need to get it. If you hear the dogs, it's because they hear my voice. And yeah, so the sooner I get to record this, the sooner I get to go out there and tend to them. But um, because I have the Dr. Teal's, I might not go get it. I have enough. I'm going to definitely inventory and look. I'm not going to show you that one because it's it's a part of things that I can't wait to use. But, um, yeah. Fall has already started in this household. And I have already started decorating. Like, you see my sign up there? Where are you at? Right here. Super, super cute. On to the other thing. I did talk about, like, being in the moment, being around my family. And we did go to this store. So, the store was basically, like, a bunch of candy a bunch of antique stuff and I definitely did enjoy myself. I probably put a snip of the things now. snippet of things that were in that were at the antique shop um i did buy like a mystery bag i do love mystery bags um i kind of feel like maybe i should do like mystery boxes i would love to sell mystery boxes i feel like that would be so fun but um i used to like i'm from like the era that i used to watch on youtube was like i don't know if you guys remember comment down below if you remember this there was like a bunch of youtubers that would subscribe to this company called little black bag where you will get products and then you will get a, a a bag you will get a type of purse 
um and that's what they will subscribe to and it'll be like cute different purses so i've always loved like mystery type bags fc stuff like that so that's what i got i got this retro goodie bag only 9.99 it has vinyl soda it says it has vinyl soda comics popcorn cookies and it's only 9.99 so i thought that was cool fun variety pack and I'm going to open it with you guys. Dear God, I do pray that the things that are in this box are, that are in this bag are um, cleansed. For we do not know who packaged them. We do not know um, what they may hold. And I definitely do pray that whatever it is that's in this household, I get to clean it, sanitize it, maybe even repurpose it or give it away to somebody else. But I do hope that I am unboxing this for my enjoyment and that it is blessed just blessed and any bad things if anything is attached to any of these things is removed um yeah so thank you in jesus name i pray amen so did pray over the goodies because i feel like whenever you go to like a retro store a thrift store something like that you should pray over the things that you get so i'm gonna open it i hope it's something good i really do Okay, so this is the bag. Inside the bag, the first thing is this Old Dutch Gourmet White Popcorn. It says it, it expired October 31st, 2024, so this shit's about to expire. That's crazy. That's what you get inside of these mystery bags. I hope it's still good. Uh, I do want to like sanitize or wipe down the whole bag before I even eat it. So yeah, but this is the Old Dutch Gourmet White Popcorn. Hopefully it's good. If it's good, I'll definitely let y'all know. And hubby and I will have a movie night with this tonight. Because October 31st, 2024, that's around the corner. So it still feels fresh when I try and break them. They don't feel stale. So yeah, this is one of the things that was in here. Hopefully it's good. If not, I could always dress it up and make it. I can make it great. So there's that. What? I don't even know who this is. The next thing that I got, this is so cool, is a Love Tavis. A Love Tavares 5. I don't even know who this is. This is so sad. I do not know who this is. But I, it makes me want to get a record player because of this. So it is the Love Tavares 5 Storm. And this is it. This is so cool. Okay. And then this is what it looks like. And then on here it has, yo, I'm about to get a vinyl. I'm about to get a vinyl player. Target, here I come. But this is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. That is so cool. Okay. This is like perfect for fall. Perfect. Okay. So what? All right. So the next comic book is... Okay. So the next... What? Okay. I already saw this. So I'm showing you guys now. The next thing is this comic book. And it is Richie Rich. I remember seeing this on TV. So Richie Rich, the poor little rich boy. What? Oh my gosh. So I did get this. And then on the back, it looks like, I don't even know what this is. Action Comics, July of 08. Oh, this was $2.99. It's DC Comics. That is so cool. April number 51. So this one says it was 50 cents. And then this one says it's $2.99. That is so cool. Like, it makes me just want to leave it in here and not read it. I'm probably going to end up reading this with hubby. This is so cool. Like, super cool. Yes, you can say the things in this bag are definitely worth $10. Because the records, I've seen them for like $5. And this was $4.49. Um, and then, oh my gosh. I used to love these. Or I used to really... I wanted these so bad. Like, I was in a household where, like, I wanted these type, like the frosted type. And no, we got the regular um, 
the regular animal cookies. I haven't ate an animal cookie in so long. This is definitely gonna be movie night snack, okay? Also, I'm gonna, what? This is, I'm excited about this bag. This is low key, like a movie night, date night type bag. And this is so dope. So this is a Teddy Grahams made with real cocoa. Hubby loves some Teddy Grahams. What? And then we got Shasta. We got this Shasta Twist uh, Lemon Lime. And then we got this one that is root beer. Not really root beer person, but I will take this. I just got to wash off the top. It's dented, but this is so cool. So I'm excited. I am excited. Definitely going to wipe down this stuff with like a, a Clorox wipe, a lemon Clorox wipe, but that's all the things that I got. That is so cool. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, thank you guys for watching me unbox these things that I got from this. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about this video, but it was so cool and I did have fun looking through the things and showing you guys. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you remember any of these types of things. If you like vinyls, if you like comic books, if you like a good Shasta. I think they still have these at Dollar Tree. Like what? Um, let me know what you think about the mystery bag that I got. I definitely liked it. So I'll probably go back and get another one. Maybe I'll make my own mystery bags. I don't know. This is so cool. But anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Chanel Nicole, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.